morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the KG5 Oval. It's very exciting. It's grand final day here for the SFL Colts division. It's the Kingborough Tigers up against the Sorrell Eagles. Big long kick or didn't get good purchase on the ball. You have your forward duff. You want that ball put out in front as they just arch their back and get it coming back out. Well spotted and uh, goes out towards that was Willoughby who just punches that ball on. Well done by Rawson. He's one that we pointed out early. He can't come up with the ball. It's Sorrell now who drives the ball into their forward 50. Bounces over the back. Running hard is Billy Pace. He's a goal kicker we know. Oh, oh big opportunity now. And here's the first one, Duff. Put that one through. Put down your glasses. That's Sammy Russell. This is the boy they've got to watch. He's kicked 65 in the regular season. Okay, so the ball now comes over the back. You can see the intensity is certainly uh, lifting now. Sorrell have steadied uh, very well indeed. That ball just sort of boots them back and goes in forward by Williams. Comes across now, front and centre. A quick snap on there by Pace. Comes along, and I think it's going to be a mark here, Duff. Oh, playing on quickly. Kicks across the body, and I think he might have put it through. Uh, Burke. He has done. Gone are the days when your forwards just prance around kicking goals. You've got to keep the ball in. Big opportunity now. It falls over the back. Oh, didn't quite uh, get the handle on that one. Big opportunity. That was Pace. He can't. I think he's picked it through, though. He, is that Burke? Burke has just slipped that one through, has he? Brilliant work there. No, I was correct the first time. I'm sorry. That was Billy Pace in that uh, couple of games last year, didn't we? He's one of the uh, premier players. I think uh, we've gone to bigger and better things is young Lockie Watt. Playing up an age group or two, Hoppy, doing well. He certainly is. That Now that ball starting to spread wide. Showing some really good wheels here as Jackie Gates picks that one up. Comes back into the centre of the ground. Here's a big opportunity. Unselfish. Right. Terrific. Oh, look out. Played on there, Duff, as Butters. Uh, dare I say it, Butters up and gets that ball back over. And I think uh, that might have been Callum uh, Rawson has slipped that one through for a minute. I thought, what are you doing, man, playing on that he knows better than the Fox? Certainly is, and the uh, scoreboard looks fantastic. Instead of those old windy numbers, it's got the nice flash new look as that ball comes over the back. The first one to recover now was uh, Nichols. Oh. Picks it up, Duff. Great, uh, that's what you want. You hold your feet and had good recovery skills and didn't he pounce on that like a panther that's what you were looking like <laughs> anyway that ball comes back to coombs coombs uh, gets it out wide but it's sorrell who intercepts through the agency of johnson who just drives it forward comes out towards bevan gets the handball now across oh, the pace go. gee they're teaming up very very well as it ha ends up to uh, sammy russell of course is there Big uh, forward Duff and he slotted it through. And so now it will be another ball up and the crowd's building Duff. Oh yeah, it's always a big day out here at the SFL Grand Final. Should be about five or 6,000 once again. Here's a snap on goal by the Tigers. Oh, I think that was, uh, was that uh, Willoughby who got that one? I think it's gonna be paid the advantage. Gee whiz, even in that last quarter Duff, the, the crowd is really uh, starting to come in now as that ball comes in. It's a big opportunity. That's a lovely mark there Duff. He's got a couple already, I think, what, 65 odd for the season, and let's have a look at him. Pretty nonchalant as he comes in, he's directly in front, just sort of pokes at that one, Duff. And I think our man Damien Burke likes it. Okay, and they are going forward, and uh, there is our man Pace. Now, oh, big opportunity is swooping on the ball. He is. Here he is again as uh, Russell, he's hooked that one over the back, and I think he likes it, Duff. And why wouldn't he like it? That has certainly got the, the Eagles up and about. What's our score there, Duff? Uh, what have we got here? Must make that 6 7 43. The Eagles, the Tigers, stuck at the moment on 3 4 22. They just can't get it past halfway, the Tigers, at the moment. Okay, Chapman, McCauley, he gets the ball, takes a bounce. He learnt from the earlier mistake there, Duff. He only ran about three metres and took the bounce. He wasn't going to go. That's a brilliant uh, passage of play and a great lead out there from Coombe, who just rocks around, and that's a brilliant goal by the Tigers. Nichols still comes out wide or two on one, but the man at the bottom of the pack, gee, that was terrific work there, Duff. Excuse me, gets that uh, scrubby old kick, but they've got the numbers, head over the ball, looking for that wide handball that's been pretty effective for them, but Sammy Cleary was coming back into play as Jackie Johnson picks the ball up, driving it forward. Oh, and rolling end over end, Duff. Something from nothing. And Jackie Johnson there has slipped that one through. And uh, we want to keep uh, your one uh, with your eye on the game, Duff. I want you to sort of have a look around the ground and see what positional changes, if any. Oh, that's a great mark! 
Beautiful mark in defence there by uh, Nichols. Um, to see if there's any main changes, Duck. Oh, no. Billy Pace, terrific work there. Showed a bit of candy, slips in. Oh, that's a great goal, Billy Pace. That's the first nail in the uh, Kingborough coffin. I think it is. What rolls the dice and goes back in the middle. It's Batchelor who spoils the party there, but it's comes back out now. Here's the man I alluded to. He's pretty strong. Oh, but he's been held. I think that's going to be holding the ball. Let's have a look at that tackle. He didn't break that one. He comes across and let's have a look at that ball. He gets the handball out, but he was deemed to be holding it too long and a free kick against Daniel McCauley. It's right on the wing. Pace gets the handball across. Brilliant work as it comes towards Nichols. Awkward sort of style in kick, but Sammy Russell uh, leads his man to the ball. His big opportunity to pick the ball up. We know he's a goal kicker if he can get his dukes on it. Handball's back across. Can't pick that ball up. Now's uh, a chance going back in. Oh, suck it off the ground. I think uh, Lyon has got a goal from nothing. And I think he's been held by the Guernsey, and that's the way the umpire has seen it, Duff. Yeah, it's just becoming really hard now, isn't it, for the Tigers, Hoppy? You're right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh, the in that, Duff. <laughs> just, uh, a little bit of hay fever. It's just that springtime oh, uh, yes, grass. The flowers are out, aren't they? They certainly Here are. Here we go. Now's a big opportunity. It comes over there. Oh, gone back into trouble there, Duff. Carter, I thought it might go on. I think he stepped the goal, Duff. He has. Terrific work there. Nice. I think that was uh, Butters who ended up going. This could help them out if they can just sort of get that aggression flowing, the adrenaline through the veins, Duff. Much needed uh, goal for the Tigers who are on to 35 to the Eagles. 63. Bachelor comes out of that square. But we know, Duff, from uh, the past games, these two, that there has been margin, but every other team has come back, whichever team has got it. And here come the Tigers. Guy tries to sell some candy, but doesn't quite do so. So just has to drive the ball forward. Excellent work there. Lockie Watt picks up the ball. He chips forward. And they've got another one, Duff. It's certainly uh, close into the last quarter of the uh, 2013 grand final here with the crowd building and they're watching a very exciting game of underage footy. McCauley picks it up, just gets the handball out in time. Comes back now towards Carter. Big opportunity he comes toward Willoughby. Gets the handball across and the Tigers are up in the mouth now. They've got three in a row. He's got to come round, sure, that's too tight an angle. Yep. Oh, there it is. Paul slots it through, Duff, but sadly for Kingborough. The Sorrell Eagles are your premiers for 2013, and there is a much relieved coach, Mickey Bevan Duff.